young ladies have finished with your vulgar display of lack of restraint, we will begin our lesson. we have a splendid riding master. I expect you think I'm completely spoiling the child. And no doubt you're right. But actually it's good for her. She's much too inclined to bury her little nose in a book and keep it there until someone lures her out of it. You see, Miss Minchin, Sarah has no mother and we've never been separated for more than a few days. How touchy. This is going to be very hard for her. Have no fear, Captain Crew. I'm a mother to all my little girls. And now, I'll leave you to your farewell. Oh, well, there you are. I've been looking. What's the matter? Oh, what is it? Oh, what's the matter? That precious son of yours. Who oh, was he? I threw him out of the house. Why? He's going to marry that fat. Oh, is that all? Is that all? You don't care. No. Now that you've made us both look ridiculous. But I tell you, Mr. Ziggle won't take it back. He told me so. They were especially grown in Russia. Give me the meat! Junie, you can't get your money back. You'll have to pay for it. There simply isn't a thing. Hand it over, hand it over. Now that you've got it, what are you going to do with it? Eat it? I'll show you what I'll do with it. I think what made me do it, except that I was so glad to see him. For father's sake. A man you don't even know, a stranger to all of us. Not an absolute stranger, Mother. We went driving with him once, remember? Justine, I've no desire to prolong this discussion now. I wish merely to point out to you that in future, I insist upon proper behavior. Yes, Mother. And I suggest that it's time to retire. Here you are. Dr. Grocer Helene. Come on. Drop that gun, Mr. Chan. Drop it. Get out of the way. Get away from that door. Don't one of you move. Just a minute, Miss Finch. A woman. Is she? Say, is she? Think you want the champ, but you haven't. You'll die with me. Correction, please, Miss Reiner. So Did you see that, Miss Hicks? All right, is that special privilege or not? It certainly is. Mr. Blanton's not only ignorant of sportsmanship, he's also a liar. But I don't blame Hubert Akeley. It was Blanton made him disobey me. And I suppose that's civilized. I've seen better men pushed aside by his kind. The kind who go through life lying and cheating, toting to those whom they think of their superiors, crowding out men who are above such treachery. The 220 low hurdles. Low indeed. He shall be jumping over them all of his life. It's too late now, Miss Morel. He won't even see me. He keeps the door locked. I think the brain is beginning to take possession of Professor Muller, too.
thought you were someone else. What? What? I'm sorry, Mrs. Preston. I woke you up. Woke me? I've never slept a wink all night. Six o'clock, Captain Sear. Six o'clock, sir. What time did he say? Six o'clock in the morning? Mm -hmm. It's disgusting waking people at this hour. What does he think we are? Barnyard fowl? Better get some more rest. Rest? Yes, but I'll have to go home to get. You stay the night. Make arrangements. Yes, madam. You. At midnight, when he's asleep, will you drive us to Madrid? Madrid? But, senor. For a hundred pieces of gold? Oh. Oh, senora. Doña Clara, please, may I not even say goodbye? You will leave a note. It'll be easier that way. <laughs> 